Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Budget Deck Tech. This is a series where I take a look at a uh, starter deck and I see how much I can improve it by spending just $10 on it. So in today's episode, we'll be looking at Fairy Tale Force. It is a Force of Will uh, starter deck that came out at the same time as Curse of the Frozen Casket. It is a light deck and it consists mostly of human and fairy tale resonators. And on the screen, you'll see all the cards that currently come in the deck. The rules are pretty simple. First of all, I've got 10 Canadian dollars to spend on cards that I'm adding to the deck. I'll be using 401games.ca prices as of October 22nd, just because of the easiest place for me to get cards from. Second up, I've got to keep it to a 40 card main deck, and then the 10 card stone deck and the ruler of course. Third up, I am only allowed to add cards from the Curse of the Frozen Casket expansion. And lastly, and probably most importantly, KISS, keep it simple. Uh, my goal here isn't to totally recreate the deck or make it go in a different direction. I'm still going to keep it as a mainly light deck. I'm going to keep the same themes in there. Uh, it's not going to be a super high-end deck or super complex one. It's not going to win any tournaments, but I think it's a pretty decent deck for an extra $10. Our J Ruler is going to be Milium, Voice of a New Generation. He is a 9-9 human, and whenever he attacks or blocks, you force one, meaning that you roll a die and you put X plus 100 plus 100 counters on him, uh, where X is the result of the roll. Uh, so this force keyword is going to be pretty important here because I'm going to have several cards in this deck that use that force keyword. The deck we're building today is going to be fairly quick. It's going to consist of a lot of small cheap creatures that we can get out quickly and hopefully overwhelm our opponent. We're definitely going to want some way to buff those guys though and we're going to do that with uh, Grim King of Fairy Tales. He is a 8-8 human resonator and once he's on the field you have the option of paying one light and forcing one. And it works a little bit differently than with our J Ruler. With this one here, uh, whatever you roll, you add plus X plus X to all of your human and fairy tale resonators. So the deck currently comes with four of these. We're definitely going to want to keep all four of them in there because it's a really good card. And we're going to want to make sure that all the resonators we now add to this deck are either human or fairy tale. Kid Puss in Boots is a one cost fairy tale resonator, and that's going to be important later on. Uh, but he starts out as a 100 100, and when you put him into play, you roll a die, you force one and you add uh, X 1-1 one, one counters to him. So minimum, he's gonna be a 200-200, maximum he'll be a 700-700, uh, but this deck does start with four of these guys, and we're gonna keep all four in there. The first card that I'm gonna buy is gonna be Dreams of Flight. It is a quick cast chant that uh, gives one of your resonators flying, as well as plus X plus X till end of turn. Uh, the nice thing about this one is that it is a remnant, meaning that you can recast it from your graveyard once, uh, the card goes for 15 cents right now, so we're not breaking the bank by adding four of these to the deck. And the final card we're going to add that has the force keyword is Pandora, the Hope Weaving Queen. She is a 210 human resonator, and when she's in play, anytime you make a force will, you get to use an additional die to do it, so she's pretty much powering up all the cards we've added to this point. Currently, she goes for 50 cents a piece, and we're going to add four of her to this deck. Next up, we're going to bring in a bunch of little flyers. So first up is Tinkerbell, a one cost fairy tale. Starts out as a 1-1, one, one, but she gains plus two, plus two for every other fairy tale you control. So the deck has four of them. Once again, we're going to leave all four of those in the deck. Peter Pan is a 5-6 flying fairy tale resonator. And when you bring him into play, you get to search your deck for a one cost fairy tale resonator and put that into play as well. So this is just a good opportunity to, to speed up the deck a little bit. So he's a little bit costly, costs a buck a piece, so I'm only gonna be able to add three of this guy to the deck. When we search our deck with Peter Pan, we're probably gonna to wanna to bring out Windy. So Windy is a one cost fairy tale resonator. Uh, starts out as a 200, 300, but she gets plus two, plus two, as long as you control magic stones and no special magic stones. Also, if you have Peter Pan in play, she gains flying and she can't be attacked. So another pretty pricey card, a dollar piece, but we're gonna add two of her to the deck. Now we're going to add a couple cards to just speed up the overall deck. So first up is Light Dress Cinderella. She is a 4-4 fairy tale resonator, and whenever she deals damage to your opponent, you get to search your deck for a fairy tale resonator and put it into your hand. So the deck does come with four of them, and we're going to leave all four in the deck. We're also going to add four copies of Retelling Stories to our deck. So this is a chant that lets you put any number of fairy tale resonators from your graveyard on top of your deck in any order. This card is going to work really well with the next card we're adding, uh, but we're adding four of these at 15 cents a piece, so that's another 60 cents we're spending here. So once we know that we have all these fairy tale resonators on the top of our deck, we're going to want to play Neverland, the Parallel World, 
It's gonna let us exile a card, and if it's a fairy tale, which we know it is, we'll be able to play it, and then we'll also get to draw our card and play that fairy tale. So it essentially lets us play two fairy tales per turn as long as we know they're on top of our deck. So we're gonna be adding um, three of these to our deck as well. They're going for a quarter piece, so that's 75 cents on these guys. And the last card that we're gonna purchase is gonna be Pumpkin Carriage. So if you ever need to boost up a Resonator's defense, Pumpkin Carriage is a great way to do it. So they're fairly cheap at 15 cents a piece, but we're gonna add four copies, taking a grand total of 40 cards. And that is our deck, guys. So seeing as it is a single color light deck, you're not gonna have a lot of direct damage. You're not gonna have a lot of removal spells, but you do have a lot of small creatures, a lot of flyers, and you've got a lot of ways to pump them up. So hopefully you can overwhelm your opponent and take them out pretty quickly. So that is how I would improve this deck if I had $10 to spend. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you guys would do anything differently. We'll see you next time.